What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Dewey's drinking water in the background. So, Alright, are you done yet then? We'll just give it a minute. So today I just wanted to make a video about my natural beauty tips, natural beauty routine. This is just something I get asked about all the time, like every single day on Instagram, and I really wanted to just have a video that I could send to people whenever they ask me a question about anything. So I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me any beauty related questions that you had, and a lot of them tied in together, so it's perfect because then this video won't be like 30 minutes long. So I think the theme of this video and what I want you guys to realize is I don't want you to go out and buy like every single product that I use because that's not going to work for you, honestly. It's, it's just not. I want you to think more about instead of what you need to add to your routine, maybe more about what you need to take away. Because I feel like the more simple and minimal your beauty routine is, your hair care routine is, the more everything thrives. And that's really what I've found to be true over the years. And I'll explain that a little bit more but adding a ton of expensive products into your routine is not really gonna help you all that much. So just keep that in mind. The, okay, so the first question is tips on growing my hair as long and healthy as yours. Here's a little story time for you guys. And I will show some pictures on the screen that my mom sent me. But before I went vegan, my hair never grew past like this point. And now my hair is like down to my butt. It's really long and it's really healthy. And what I said about taking things away from your beauty routine is what I'm talking about right now with hair. Like this is so important for your hair, to leave your hair alone. And I know a lot of people don't wanna do that. They want like a product that's gonna make their hair grow fast and grow long and grow beautiful. But there is no better product than your internal cells that know exactly what they're doing and are trying to keep you as healthy as possible. The biggest thing that we need to do to grow healthy, long hair is to stop damaging it. And this is the same thing with our skin, with everything else. If we're constantly damaging our hair by coloring it, drying it, straightening it, curling it, using products with all kinds of petroleum and chemicals and all that kind of stuff in it, it is never going to be able to become like this perfect healthy cell that will grow and that will thrive and i can honestly say like ever since i've left my hair alone it's just grown like a freaking weed it's super long and i don't do anything to it and a lot of people are like well i have to color my hair and i have to straighten my hair and i have to dry my hair and i have to do all these things but try and see what you can take away from that maybe you don't have to do all of those things maybe you don't have to do all those things every day um, for me personally, like if I ever do curl my hair, which is the worst thing I do to my hair, I will keep it curled for like days. My hair will just hold a curl and I just won't wash it for days. Um, but specifically with my hair care routine, so I have not dyed my hair, colored my hair whatsoever in the last six years. I would say I maybe use a heat product, like a curling iron on my hair, maybe once or twice a month. I never dry my hair, I let it dry, just I go outside and I let it dry. Um, and I think that that's helpful because I always shower and wash my hair at night. Whereas like if you woke up in the morning and you shower in the morning before you go to work, you might have to dry your hair. But if you just switch your routine around a little bit and wash your hair at night and then in the morning it's dry, um, then you don't have to blow dry your hair before work. I also rarely get my hair cut because it doesn't, it's, it doesn't get damaged so I don't really ever have to get it cut so it, it grows really long and yeah my hair care routine is really simple I wash it probably twice or three times a week I try not to wash it a lot but from going to the gym and from it being summer like I've been washing my hair a lot lately just because it gets really disgusting I just use the function of beauty brand that you guys have seen in my videos the only thing that I ever use is shampoo, conditioner, and then I'll use some type of leave-in conditioner. So I have two different brands, the Function of Beauty, and then I have 
the Pacifica and the way that I kind of style my hair if I want it to be kind of wavy is I will just when I get out of the shower I let it dry for a little bit until it's just semi damp and then I'll put like a tablespoon full of the product in my hair run it through my hair and then put it up in like a really tight knot and then I wake up in the morning and it's usually pretty curly today it's not not so much. The next question is, what do you, you use on your face? My skin really breaks out often. So I don't, I've never had problem skin. I've never really had a lot of acne or anything like that. Um, but the biggest thing that I would tell you to look into if you have really bad acne, cystic acne, or problem skin is look into balancing your hormones and really, um, get like a journal and write down like what's happening every month with your menstrual cycle how you feel when you're ovulating start tracking your cycle how you're feeling you know when you have your period if you have really bad pms symptoms um and really start look into balancing your hormones maybe get your hormone levels checked if you can because it's a huge huge deal with acne and with hair loss another question that i got quite a bit was hair loss how do i keep my hair from falling out and thinning thinning um, look into balancing your hormones and this is something that can happen when you're losing weight I know when I lost weight my hair did fall out quite a bit just because your body is going through kind of like a cleansing process um, but once you start to maintain your weight it starts to rebuild everything but I'll just give you guys a little rundown on my skincare routine and the best products that I found so the best product for removing makeup or removing anything off of your face is this seafoam cleanser from Pacifica. I know that you can get all these this brand at Target. I just buy everything online. My instant pot's done. But I really like this face wash because it really does take off your makeup and um, especially like mascara which is pretty much the majority of the makeup that I wear is mascara and it's just the hardest thing to get off. I use that. And then the only other thing that I use on my face is this vitamin C probiotic polish from Osea. Um, it's just really good. It makes my skin, whenever I use this stuff, it makes my skin feel like it's brand new. And I try not to use it that often because it is really expensive, not gonna lie. Um, but it's a really good product. Um, but with acne, you really just have to be really gentle with your skin. Try to keep makeup off of it as much as possible. Try to keep products off of it. I honestly wouldn't even use like any type of moisturizer. I wouldn't use anything on my skin. Um, and I don't use anything on my skin. Like those are the two products that I only ever use and they're cleansing products. I never put like oil on my skin. I never put moisturizers on my skin i never put anything like that on my skin um like at night or anything like that i would just say let your skin breathe take a deep breath yourself and try not to stress about it because stress is one of the biggest most impactful things that you can be internally doing that's going to screw up your outer beauty i think I had a, another question that said, what are your anti-aging tips? I get that a lot just because I am going to be 33 this year. But honestly, my biggest beauty tip in the world would be meditation. <laughs> because when you learn to really just like accept the present moment and be in the present moment, I know this is like not the video that you guys wanted because I know everybody's like, tell me the products I need to use and I will use them. But there really is no holy grail product or thing that is going to fix anything. Like you have to fix yourself from the inside. And I really truly believe having a type of like inner peace and going with the flow and accepting the present moment and not fighting everything that comes up and not having like 8 million thoughts a day that are driving you nuts really helps you just have like this inner glow and helps you to live a more free life and really learn to just like live in this moment which is just like so hippie woo woo but it helps so much like look at Eckhart Tolle I look at that guy he's 71 years old he looks to me like he's like 40 maybe 50 at the most he looks so young because if you've ever read his book The Power of Now um, 
he just embraces you know the present moment he doesn't worry about the past he's not anxiety ridden about the future he's not freaking out about everything everybody says and worrying about everything everybody thinks about him and oh my god like all this stuff so if you want some good books to read i would highly recommend the power of now by Eckhart tolle and another really really good book that will change your life is um the untethered soul i can't remember the author but that's a really good book too so the three makeup products that i use every single day are this my shell um sunscreen i buy this off of thrive market you can also get it on amazon it's just a really nude super sheer um sunscreen that i put on my face just because i live in southern arizona and i don't want wrinkles <laughs> and i want to protect my face from the sun and then i also use the pacifica this is their lip balm i think it's just like the nude one spf 30 so i use that just because i kind of like the color and whatever and then i use the tarte lights camera lashes so a question that goes with this is how do you get your eyelashes so long so the number one thing you need is really good mascara this lights camera lashes mascara i feel like it just makes my eyelash i <laughs> i feel like it makes my eyelashes look so long and so dark because they're my eyelashes are like a really light color um but i swear this is the holy grail beauty product and it is jamaican black castor oil i started looking into ways to naturally grow your eyelashes and i found this so i put i just put a tiny like dot on my eyelashes at night and then i rub it all over my eyelashes i also do like my eyebrows and this stuff makes my i swear to god it makes my eyelashes super thick and really long and i feel like i just have so many more than i used to have and they are really long like but this stuff is also really good for anything um like if you have receding hair right here you can just kind of like put it around the edges of your face i wouldn't recommend putting it like all over your scalp because it is really 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 thick and it's gonna take you forever to get it out i've done it once i did it once <laughs> like a really long time ago I used to like put it like dump it all over my scalp and then put my hair in a um like towel and sleep in it it's impossible to get out and your hair will look awful um but i use this stuff for a lot of stuff like if i ever get period cramps i'll do like a castor oil pack they're, they're really healing really good for you um but i just heard that the jamaican black castor oil was the best for like hair growth for your eyelashes and your eyebrows so i use that i think this is kind of the last question but th the question is do you still do dry brushing and what benefits do you see from it so yes i do still do dry brushing um i'm not as consistent with it as i used to be but i i do still do it um i like to do it like after the gym before i take a shower it just, so what dry brushing does is it helps to stimulate your lymphatic system and this is really good for cellulite and it's really good for like if you have varicose veins or anything like that. It's also really just good for keeping your skin um, turnover, like the cell turnover to constantly be like rejuvenating and be bringing up the fresh skin. So for me personally, like living in a really sunny place, I feel like I have to like dry brush my skin a lot just to keep it really active. Um, the other thing that you can do for, say, cellulite is just any kind of thing that's going to stimulate your lymphatic system. So walking is really good. Also, jumping on a rebounder is, like, one of the best things that you can do. I just find it so uncomfortable to jump on a rebounder. Like, I don't know why. It just, like, hurts my boobs and, just, like, it's, I don't know. <laughs> if I had a big trampoline, it'd be different. But the little ones, they're not very fun. Um, but, yes, so dry brushing is just real it's super low cost like you buy one dry brush and then you can use it forever you want to just rub your skin in a circular motion like this and you'll see that your skin like starts to get red but it's just bringing all the blood flow back up to the surface and rejuvenating the underneath layers of your skin the other thing that i use is i have a little one for my face that i will just like use on my face um, and I also have a glove 
that I use in the shower. So the only thing that I use in the shower is um, this all natural soap that my best friend makes, but she makes homemade bars of soap that are all natural, um, palm oil free, and they're just made with essential oils and like shea butter, coconut butter. She uses like mango butter, avocado oils, like all these really good oils and stuff. So I'll use this black one on my face with um, just like a scrubby. I really like using one of these in the shower. You can get these on Amazon. I'll try to link everything as much as I can down below, but I will just lather one of these up with my soap and just scrub my whole body. I'm like such an exfoliator. I love exfoliating just because my skin feels so soft and like amazing after. If I don't exfoliate, I just feel like I have like layers of <laughs> dead skin on me. So um, I either do the dry brushing or if I don't remember to do that, I always exfoliate in the shower with one of these little things. And I have, um, you only need to use one of them, which is nice because they come in like two packs. I've never like put both of them on and like scrub myself. But the good thing is that like once you use it, then you can throw it in the washer and then you can use the other one. And I think I have like four or five of these things. So I'll leave her company down below. I think she ships nationwide. Um, it's called Desert Mermaid Soap Company. And yeah, she makes the most amazing soap. If anybody is going to be at Portland Veg Out, she will also be there with me selling her soap. Because um, we're going to have a booth there for anybody that didn't know. I think it's the second week of August. We will be in Portland. I can't wait to meet you guys. Okay, so... <laughs> There is one more question. Um, somebody asked me about nail growth. My nails look a hot mess right now, but they are super, super long. Like, they just get ridiculously long. And people always think that I have like fake nails, but no, these are my real nails. Um, so the, Thing, my nails always look like a hot mess just because like I'm gardening and working out a lot um, <laughs> But they do grow really long and I think that that's more just diet um, I do notice that if I put polish on them that they tend to grow longer because I think that it just helps protect them And I just use the Pacifica brand polish. I don't Have it in front of me right now, but it's on their website um, And I like it because it's like Again, all natural, vegan. It's really hard to find a vegan nail polish, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, I do find my nails grow a lot longer if I put polish on them. They're just like so long right now. I really need to paint them. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Just try to minimize everything as much as you can, especially with your hair, especially with your skin. You really just wanna like take care of yourself from the inside out. Really the foods that you eat and the thoughts that you're thinking and the stress that you're having and how you're handling all of that emotionally is going to have the biggest impact on your skin, your hair, your beauty, your glow, like everything from the inside out. So don't try to invest so much into outside products. Try to look more inward and see what you can fix from the inside. Um, and definitely read those books that I mentioned. They, they're really good. Another one actually that I just thought of is it's by Louise Hay. It's called You Can Heal Your Life. And that's just a really good book to kind of recenter yourself and realize the thoughts that you've been having and how to change the habitual patterns of that to change your life, literally. That book's really amazing. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for everybody who submitted a question. I hope this video helped you in some way. And I will see you on the next one.